So yeah, uh, I'm gonna show two games that I've been working on. One of them is pretty much finished and one is still mid-production. Uh, I started working on this one before I started working on this one, so I'm gonna show it first, but it's pretty far from finished. And it's kind of a simulation game where uh, an island is created and there's all these different areas that you can explore and there's different uh, things to encounter in these areas and there's also quests in here that you can try to uh, pursue to get off the island or do something else so far there's only one quest finished but I have plans for like 10 or 15 or maybe even more And yeah, there's, it's called Life Death Island. Yeah. So there's some wildlife, and you can like step on the snakes and spiders. <coughs> and the bear doesn't like the zombies that are on the island, so it kills them as well. And there's also cars. <laughs> and uh, explosions. Uh, and you can use the explosions to kill enemies. And there's these crates that you can find stuff in. I'm not sure where I'll put them in the final version of the game. And you can enter buildings as well. And also there's um, a sewer system where you can access the sewers to the city. Yeah, there's gonna be uh, a lot of wildlife in here, and the wildlife is gonna interact with each other, and so it's gonna be both interactive and non-interactive in certain areas. And there's also humans that you can team up with that will follow you around and sometimes they will take initiative to go on some kind of side quest and you can talk to them. So yeah, you have to talk to people and you will find out how to escape from 
uh, the island. That's the first quest that uh, takes quite a lot of time, so I'm not going to show the whole thing. But that's basically the gist of the game. And uh, then I was uh, contacted a while ago uh, to make a game for an uh, art exhibition in uh, the northern parts of Sweden. And the theme was love in uh, the north, pretty much. So I made this game based on uh, prejudice about people who live out in the country. And, uh, oops, this is not the right version. <laughs> <laughs> 